away. Number one thing I wanted to quickly mention, this is twofold. Number one was this picture that I recently saw of Pharrell Williams at the Louis Vuitton show. And this was at the women's show, right? The, the show which is co-led by, sorry, which is um, directed by um, Nicholas Gasquier, famously of Balenciaga, uh, prior, prior is now a Louis Vuitton women's. And obviously Pharrell was there to kind of support his quote unquote label mate. And he was dressed to the nines, right? And he had this amazing, I'm not too sure if it's as part of his up and coming collection, but he had an amazing, an amazing M65 um, Louis Vuitton version that's sort of made in this weird velvet plush, plush velvety type material in this lovely olive green with the Louis Vuitton emblem kind of in um, what you call it a uh, stowed in to the top of it and then you've got this really nice collar that looks like it's pile like white mink or something I don't know if this like a is that this is meant to be a Dalmatian print or just just buttons on it but this is a really interesting and luxurious way to kind of update a really a kind of a staple item in most guys wardrobe to have like an M65 I know I've got a few of them and they're usually you know um jacket types that a lot of brands kind of use as basis to kind of work from and whatnot um over the years but to take this and kind of you know do it in a Louis Vuitton type of fashion is really really nice so I'm curious to know if this is part of his new collection he's also been wearing this hat um that he's been wearing this little this little Joe Rogan rascal hat he's got on he's been having that for a while and it's obviously Louis Vuitton printed also and then I'm not too sure about the jeans or the trainers but they maybe are maybe part of his new collection I'm not really too sure he's wearing a lot of these kind of boot cut style jeans going forward so this might be a sneak peek of what we might see Pharrell be presenting when he eventually does debut for Louis Vuitton men's I think in June or July I'm not really too sure I forgot which one it was but this is twofold the other thing I was thinking about this was this. He's starting to look his age now. And this is a picture of um, Pharrell Williams at the same... I think this is at the after party for the same event, I'm pretty sure. And he's standing next to Zendaya. And obviously Zendaya looks fantastic in what she's got on. But if you go, if you go closer to Pharrell, in the face especially, he's starting to look his age. And I'm not too sure if this is to do with the fact that he's got stress now because I said before part of the reason why I'm not sold on Pharrell maybe doing a good job at Louis Vuitton men's is that number one I think he's more of a tastemaker than he is a designer and I think that's not a bad thing but I just, I just think going from being able to have good taste and be able to buy cool and interesting things is one thing and then you know and then going to design a whole collection is another thing and I also think his strength for my in my opinion I think his one strength that he has in design is that most of the stuff he's done has really been small it's been like capsule collections I think of the stuff that he did with um with uh with Montclair the bulletproof vest I think even stuff that he did early on with building the boys club which eventually which at the start was kind of co-founded by him Nigo and skating it wasn't only him doing building the boys club which is why the early versions of building the boys club and the ice cream shoes were so good compared to what we see now because he doesn't have that sort of help anymore but those things were really nice and other little things he's done he's done little collaborations here and there little capsule collections um those things have been really good I think so but whenever he's been asked to build out a full line it's kind of flattered to deceive in my opinion so it's going to be a lot to take somebody that's a tastemaker and that's good at doing collaborations to suddenly fill out an entire um, collection of clothes which is going to be probably over 50 looks maybe more items in the shop maybe more bags and accessories and whatnot it's going to be crazy so I was thinking looking at this picture this may be evidence of how stressed he must be to do this job or it just might be him just getting older in the years, just kind of finally cracking because for the longest time, Pharrell's looked flipping 25, right? For basically the last 15 years. And sometimes, you know, father time just does catch up on you. But it'll be interesting to me when he does finally debut his collection in Paris Fashion Week, if one thing happens, if we see an amazing collection from Pharrell Louis Vuitton, what we will know then is that this whole mystique about this whole fashion thing being hard, about the mercurial one person leading something all this whatever nonsense we kind of get peddled by media and by brand is completely kaput if Pharrell was able to step in there with limited experience and smash it out the park on the first try we will know that there's a system actually behind these things that if you just kind of you know plug yourself into and you're willing to kind of work with people and kind of lower your ego somewhat and receive assistance and input you can actually put together a banging collection we really see what Gucci are doing Gucci put together pretty two solid collections after Alessandro Michele got fired with no quote-unquote leader 
that have been crazy good, like just as good as anything you would have seen from Mikelly before. So if Pharrell does smash it first time, then we know that there's a system in place that can kind of facilitate anybody to do a good job. So the idea that you have to be someone that goes to a fashion school, you have to be somebody that has this level of experience, is completely gone. Because what you can do going forward, because this is an experiment, other groups or other brands or other houses can look at it and say, you know what? This this guy's cool. Like a like a for instance, like for instance, imagine Tyler the Creator. Imagine ASAP Rocky. Like what's stopping uh, you know, a brand like Lacoste, for instance, deciding, hey, we're gonna give the creator director role to Tyler the Creator. We're gonna give the creator director role to flipping um Rocky to do. If they're popular, they've already got an inbuilt crowd, they're already kind of cool, they've got they've got they've got their level of taste making and whatever and the ability to kind of make cool products. Just give them the ability to make more of it and with you know support around them and they're probably gonna smash it. That's what you're probably gonna see there. But I'm still a bit dubious. But also this also, like I said, could be the effects of the fashion week already catching up on him. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna have to design, if I'm not mistaken, three to four collections a year, maybe. No, he's gonna have to show three to four things a year or something along those skylines, or maybe in a span of like 18 months it's pretty crazy the calendar so to go from making beats and doing your collaborations and whatnot and launching your cream to suddenly be churning out like you know spring full spring full re um, resort um in collaborations in between is going to be a lot to do in one go but i'm eager to see how he does attack it but it is crazy to see that finally the great pharrell williams is finally starting to age now he's finally finally starting to age 